Have you ever watched a Lightroom Classic tutorial and thought to yourself, wait, how did they just zoom in like that? Wait, how did they just, wait, wait what, huh? Well, today I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna show you every single way that I know how to zoom in on your photo in Lightroom Classic. And I'm gonna explain why some of those methods don't always work depending on which module you're in. Let's jump in and get started. All right, so here we are in Lightroom Classic and I have a pair of gannets here. And here is the first step on how to zoom in on this photo. All we're gonna do with our mouse, we're gonna left click, boom, that's it. Left click and that takes us in to 100%. We can also press the space bar, does the same thing. So space bar and left click on the mouse. That's step number one for how to simply zoom into our photo. The second way that we can zoom into our photos is with the navigator panel. And that's up here in the top left hand corner, right up here. See how it says fit? So this fit right here, fit and fill, if I press fill, it's going to make the photo fill the entire screen. I'm not a really big fan of that. I'm definitely more of a fit guy. <laughs> and so this is what I like is fit kind of sits in the frame like this. And then up here we have two other numbers. So we have the 100%, which is default, which we like. That's when I left click on the mouse or I press space bar. It zooms us in 100%. But there's this other number up here. See where it says 61.3%? I don't know what I was doing before, but if we press that little, the little arrows here, press that, and that gives us a whole bunch of other numbers that we can work with. So we wanna go into 200%, whoa. That takes us right in if we wanna look at the fine details of our image. The only thing now is if we press that button, the default is now that 200% versus that 100, which is fine if that's what we want. But if you wanna go back to that 100, just press 100 and the default will again be 100. Same thing, pressing the space bar. Now the third way we can zoom in is by pressing, depending on what you use, either Mac, for Mac it's Command, for Windows it's Control, press that and hold it down. And you see how my cursor has a little square box around it now? Now let's say I wanna zoom in on the Gannett's head here. So what I do is I press down, I hold Command, and I see my little box, and then I'm gonna press down on the left cursor of my mouse and hold it down, and you see the box that's forming? So I'm holding it down and I'm dragging, because I just wanna go right on the Gannett's head. So I really want to inspect that. I want to be super picky and I'm going to let go of everything and whoa, it zooms right in. Okay, so that zooms right in on that. If I want to get out of that, I'm going to again press just the left, left click on my mouse and that takes us right out. Now, if I press the space bar, our default has been changed again. Instead of getting that default, which is 100%, we've changed that every time we kind of mess with something. So if I just want to go back to normal, I'm gonna go back up to my navigator and I'm gonna press 100. So that takes us back to normal. So that was easy, so it's just either command or control depending on what you're using. And we can draw a bigger box so I can go like right on the head and the wing in there. That's not as dramatic as last time. But again, I'm gonna go back to that default. So I'm just gonna come up here, 100, and get back our default. For the fourth way that I like to zoom in, the fourth way is actually my favorite, but it doesn't work in the library module. Okay, so if I go up here to the top, Okay, we're in the library module right now. If I go into the develop module, this is the only place that we can do this. We can't do it in library. It can only be done in develop. So if you're in the library and you try and do this, it's not gonna work. You're gonna get frustrated. You're gonna go, why isn't this working? Because you gotta be in the develop module. <laughs> so now that we're in the develop module, what we can do is we press down on the shift key. See the little, how my cursor is now turned into a magnifying glass? Well, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press down on my mouse again, left click, and slide, ooh, so that's sliding to the right, and this is sliding to the left. So now I have full control over how far, or how not far, I wanna zoom in to my image. And all I'm doing is holding down shift, pressing down on my mouse, and scrolling left and right. This is my favorite way, because this allows you to quickly be able to look at your photo, be like, oh, okay, I wanna see the eye. Oh, okay, I don't want to anymore, I'm gonna zoom back out. Okay, this looks great, awesome. Okay, I wanna zoom in again. So yeah, I'm pressing down the shift key, I'm going in and out, in and out, in and out. Look, you have so much control versus everything else, which I find is very slow, like using the navigator tab and your space bars and all that. But when you're in the develop module, that shift and this little slide bar, this is what I use all the time because you can just get right in on there. It is just so much easier. I absolutely love doing it that way. My landlord's vacuuming. Mm. 
All right, folks. Well, I'm back, and my uh, landlord stopped vacuuming. And I look at my little my little guy in the corner here looks a lot different. <laughs> so, not really sure how I did that, but we're gonna keep it going. <laughs> okay, I think we left off at number five. So step number five for zooming in, and what, what I'm gonna do here is I made three copies here of the same Gannett photo that we were looking at, just for the example of what have another way to zoom in with step number five. So we got three copies here, okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in on the one, but we have these three others, one, two, and three. It's hard to tell that I'm cycling through them. But for number five, what we can do is actually lock into a zoom position. So if I press that command key and I make a little square around the wing and the head again, what I can do now is I can actually lock in this position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the toolbar and I'm going to go to view and I'm going to look down to where it says lock zoom position see it right here lock zoom position so boom i've done that i've locked it in now when i go see i'm on number 74 here when i go to 75 and 76 i'm in the same position i'm in the same position and then if i go to a random photo oh i'm really zoomed in so it locks in that zoom position so if you were trying to look at a bunch of photos that were different all back and forth that's a really good uh little trick to know but we don't want that right now so we're going to go back and we're just going to click that off we don't want that anymore so these next two i actually can't do number six and seven i can't do but i'm still going to teach you and i'm going to explain why they don't work for me and they may not work for you either so number six and number seven i'm going to explain how to do them but i actually can't and some of you may not be able to do it as well and i'll show you why but for right now for some of you here's what number six and number seven are just so you know so number six is if you hold the control key and then press either plus or the minus key, you can zoom in and out. Whether you press the plus key, you're gonna zoom in. If you press the minus key, you're gonna zoom out. On my MacBook Pro, that doesn't work. Tip number seven, another way to zoom in and out, is with the scroll wheel on your mouse. And what you're gonna do for that, depending on what system you're using, you're can either gonna press Alt or you're gonna press Control, and holding those, either holding alt or control, you're then gonna scroll with your mouse and that'll allow you to scroll in and out of the photo. And now tip number eight is the reason that it doesn't work for me is I'm editing on a MacBook Pro and we have a trackpad. So those other two ways, I, I don't know why, you know what, maybe if they do work and I'm doing something wrong, somebody let me know in the comments, that would be great, really helpful even for me. But I don't believe that they work if your computer has a trackpad. And I edit everything on a MacBook Pro, it has a trackpad. So it's like the same thing. I don't get the mouse scroll wheel and I can't use the plus and minus keys, but if I just use my trackpad here and I pinch, I pinch two fingers and push them away from one another, I zoom in and if I take two fingers and I pull them towards each other, I zoom out. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. In and out, in and out, just like that. So out of those three ways, give them all a try depending on what you have. And again, let me know in the comments if you have access to all three, maybe I got to set something up in my settings, but otherwise, hopefully one of those will work for you. And I, I use my trackpad all the time. Trackpad and then shift, holding down shift in the develop menu, scrolling in and out is the most of the ways that I do it. Now there's one last way. This is way number, I think we're on number nine. And that is, if you look down here, right at the bottom toolbar, see where it says zoom? That's another way. Just press that and I can zoom in and out. That's it. And then I believe if you double click it, that'll take it right back to the default 100. So if you're messing around with it, let's say I'm at 391, I press out of it, it goes back to that. If I double click here on the zoom, it'll take me back to 100 and reset the default. That's it, folks. Well, folks, that's all I got for you here today. If you press the little link there down in the description, it's a free bird photography settings cheat sheet. It's like a little mini ebook full of great little tips for your bird photography and goodbye.